tests for zinc ion. Zinc is a chemical element with symbol Zn. It is found in various salts like zinc chloride and zinc sulfate as zinc 2 positive ion. In group 4, zinc ions are precipitated as their sulfides by passing hydrogen sulfide gas through their solutions. Our aim here is to test for the presence of zinc ion in a given salt. First, we look at the preliminary tests of zinc ion. Dry heating test. Materials required. Original salt in a test tube. Test tube holder and Bunsen burner. Procedure. Take a small quantity of salt in a test tube. Heat it over the Bunsen burner. The salt becomes yellow when hot and white when cold, indicating the presence of zinc ion. Flame test. Materials required. Original salt in a watch glass. Concentrated hydrochloric acid. Dropper. Glass rod. Platinum wire loop and Bunsen burner. Procedure. Take a small quantity of the salt in a watch glass. To this, add a few drops of concentrated hydrochloric acid using a dropper. Mix the contents of the watch glass using a glass rod to make a paste. Take a small amount of the paste on the platinum wire loop and introduce it into the oxidizing flame of the Bunsen burner. Green flashes indicate the presence of zinc ion. Charcoal cavity test. Materials required. Mixture of salt and sodium carbonate in a watch glass, charcoal piece, distilled water, spatula, dropper, tongs, blow pipe and Bunsen burner. Procedure Take a mixture of a small quantity of salt and double its quantity of sodium carbonate in a watch glass. Take a charcoal piece with a small cavity in it. Using a spatula, place a small quantity of the mixture in the cavity of the charcoal piece. Using a dropper, add a few drops of distilled water to the mixture to moisten it. Using the tongs, hold the charcoal piece in front of the reducing flame of the Bunsen burner. Now, direct the reducing flame on the cavity by means of the blowpipe and heat strongly for some time. A yellow residue is obtained on heating and it becomes white on cooling, indicating the presence of zinc ion. Cobalt nitrate test Materials required White residue obtained in the charcoal cavity test Cobalt nitrate solution Dropper Tongs Blowpipe and Bunsen burner Procedure Take the charcoal piece with white residue in it. Using a dropper, add a few drops of cobalt nitrate solution to the white residue. Using the tongs, hold the charcoal piece in front of the oxidizing flame of the Bunsen burner. Now, direct the oxidizing flame on the cavity by means of the blowpipe and heat strongly for some time. Formation of green residue indicates the presence of zinc ion. Next, we look at the analysis of zinc ion. Materials required Salt solution in a test tube Concentrated nitric acid Ammonium chloride Ammonium hydroxide Hydrogen sulfide gas Spatula Droppers Test tube holder and Bunsen burner Procedure Take a small quantity of concentrated nitric acid using a dropper. Add it into the salt solution taken in a test tube. Boil the solution for some time over the Bunsen burner. Using the spatula, add a small quantity of ammonium chloride to the solution. Boil the contents again and cool the test tube in a beaker containing water. Then, add excess of ammonium hydroxide solution and shake well. Now. Pass hydrogen sulfide gas through the solution. Zinc 2 ions present in the salt solution react with hydrogen sulfide to form a dull white precipitate of zinc sulfide. Finally, we look at the confirmatory tests of zinc ion. Sodium hydroxide test. Materials required. Salt solution in a test tube. 
sodium hydroxide and dropper. Procedure Take a small quantity of sodium hydroxide solution using a dropper. Add it into a small quantity of salt solution taken in a test tube. Zinc ions present in the salt solution react with sodium hydroxide to form a white precipitate of zinc hydroxide. Now, add excess of sodium hydroxide solution to the precipitate. The white precipitate dissolves because zinc hydroxide reacts with excess of sodium hydroxide to form soluble sodium zincate. Potassium ferrocyanide test Materials required Salt solution in a test tube Potassium ferrocyanide solution and dropper Procedure Take a small quantity of potassium ferrocyanide solution using a dropper Add into the salt solution taken in a test tube. Shake the test tube well. Zinc ions present in the solution react with potassium ferrocyanide to form a white precipitate of zinc ferrocyanide. Precautions Handle hydrogen sulphide with proper care because it is highly hazardous. Handle nitric acid and hydrochloric acid with proper care because they are highly corrosive. Heating should be done very carefully.